Okay, I'm here at uh, Shaw's Hiker Hostel uh, in Monson, Maine, and uh, it's pretty funny to run into everybody. So here's the bunkhouse, blah, 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 oh, you can see. Do you like the bunkhouse? <laughs> All right, well, have a great night. Yeah, you too. Okay. Now let's go in here. So here I sit at uh, Shaw's Hostel. It's about it's 9.22 at night. <clears throat> and I'm still uploading my video from this day. <coughs> I've been working on it for a couple hours. Uh, I forget what the issues were. Anyway, it takes a lot of work to put one of these things together. Okay, Captain. Trying to say hi to and everybody else. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, day 142, and I'm on a unmapped road somewhere near Bodfish Tote Road in um, Maine. And this is a trail that's on private property, and it's posted, no trespassing. But everybody says the owner just posts it for, he wants to keep the numbers down, or I guess there's some, been some people making campfires here or whatever, and they don't really mind if you're here, just don't abuse the place. So I'm hiking, I think, to Long Branch or something, and uh, I have a Ford to do there. And then 14 miles beyond that. I think I have nearly a mile on this trail. Holy Toledo. I better look around. Doesn't look like a trail. Okay, so I went down that other road and essentially got to an end. And it was going straight down the contours. Now we were told by the ATC that there were two trails here and one went up the way it was drawn on my map and so went steeply up the hill to the AT and the second trail went parallel well at one elevation like I am right now and intersects the trail at a shorter distance so, 
This appears to be going the right direction. Well, this trail has just taken a turn up the contour. I think I need to go bushwhack. Looks like I have maybe 400 feet. I hear the river. I think I'm going to give it a go. Might as well get some video of me crashing through the woods. This is exciting. Well, looky there. Looks like I found me a footpath. See any blaze? Oops, oops. Tripping over branches. There's the river I'm going to have to cross. I think that was a lot better than the alternative. Here I am in 100 mile wilderness, 15 miles in, <laughs> and there's the blaze. So I came down that trail there, and here's my Ford. Hmm. It's interesting that there's a a blaze right there. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of the crossing, and it really isn't too much of a problem, although um, one rock was very slippery. Caught me by surprise a little bit. Okay. Huh. I don't know if there's... Well, I think this is the Bodfish Tote Road, which... Uh, you can't see in that direction because of the sun. Um, it had been my previous plan for access. I don't, I don't see anybody else's tire tracks. But there's a blaze for that there. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Okay, this is Vaughn Falls at uh, 96.5, which something slipped my mind back there where I started to mention is that I was about a half mile or less from actually four tenths of a mile from the uh, point that's 100 miles from the summit of Mount Katahdin so that's pretty cool so stream crosses trail crosses here wouldn't want to get swept over that in high water Let's see. I guess if I didn't have the camera in my hand, I'd go that away. But uh, in the oh, that was slippery. Um, as I'm trying to be a puppet boy, that was nice warm water. I'd still jump in. Okay. Survived another one. Top of Vaughn Falls. Pretty cool. There's the crossing I just did. 
more forest ahead. There are not many videos of people going through the 100 mile wilderness in any detail because most of the time they're backpackers trying to save the batteries with limited time to really uh, you know show the place so hopefully this will be a good reference for anybody who's interested in <clears throat> doing the 100 mile wilderness here in Maine Stairmaster Oh my gosh, somehow I found my way back to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Rock City, oh my god. Gosh, I mean the hardest part was uh, New Hampshire, like all that, but it was also the most beautiful, so I guess maybe... Yeah, yeah I know. And I like the Smokies too, so... Yeah. yeah, it's a lot like the Smokies here, isn't it? It is. It, well, the balsam and... Yeah, it is a lot like it. Some of the stretches it felt kind of like uh, I was walking through the Smokies. Uh -huh. So what's your trail name again? Trail Magic. Trail Magic, okay. And you're from Maryland. What part of Maryland? Like Bowie or? No, uh, northwest of Baltimore, kind of close to the uh, PA line. Oh, I see. Huh, cool. Uh, and my parents live uh, in southern Pennsylvania, so I'm close by. You figured you're going to finish in about a week? Yeah, yeah. Week, seven, eight days. Yeah. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's uh, very surreal. Very surreal, I know. This 100 mile wilderness, I guess, is a amazing time for thought and reflection on the whole thing. That's what everybody says. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of, kind of preparing yourself mentally for the end, I guess. Right. It'll be, uh, it'll be bittersweet, I think. Yeah. It's a lot of trail depression afterwards. I, I was off the trail for a good while, and um, yeah, it's really different being off the trail <laughs> again yeah kind of getting uh, acclimated back into the yep. crowds and, and yep. the, the, the the real world right <laughs> uh, that was a fun interview with that guy he's from the towson university now formerly oh geez please towson state <sighs> maryland you read Seem to be on a big rock here. I guess these are glacial striations this way. Do I see any bedding? Yeah, it looks like looks like this is maybe the bedding and the angle of glaciation was slightly at an angle to it. So this is a Devonian uh, shale, or sl really, I mean. I don't know why they call it shale. Dang. Am I supposed to jump down this or what? Okay. Back to ground climbing. Good hold. Good hold. hold. That's it. I love the Appalachian Trail. Oh, shoo ah, The guy was telling me that he took a fall, I think he said yesterday, on his hip right where I did. We were both lamenting how crazy the trail is and slippery the rocks are. <laughs> Two chipmunks. Whenever it's chipmunk dating season. Oh, look at this. That's uh, geez, geez. <laughs> that's uh, a solid rock surface with leaves. Oh, that is could have been interesting. Okay, we're at 2,093.9.
pretty balsam forest, nice clean magic carpet. So this is 2093.8, it says Slate Road. There it is. Under, oh, that might be tough in the round four. Okay, here in the wilderness is a train track at 2092.7. Took them 4.3 miles in, not including my bonus miles. Okay. Hmm. Ah, looks like a sign over there. I hear the train are coming. It's rolling down the track. I've been to Folsom Prison. Okay, I'm getting to Big Wilson Creek here. And the AT Ross is right here. So, I'll need a few minutes to get my Tevas on for this one. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll probably have to put my camera down a bit. Boy, I don't know, maybe it's shallow up there. You know, I don't like cold water. Well, that looks pretty deep right there, doesn't it? Oh, uh, uh, you know me. You know I don't like cold water.
okay, I got beyond one little tricky spot. It's a little deep right over in there. But it appears. Oh, this part's not bad. Let's see, uh-oh. Yeah, the water's moving faster right here, huh? So that means it's going to carve out the channel more. Hmm. I thought I was through the crux. Fun crossing. The air out the feet, huh? Leaving my Tevas on for a little bit. Come on, nice freeway like trail right here. At twenty one ninety one point four. Two thousand ninety point eight had quite a good climb coming up. As I was eating lunch back there, <clears throat> uh, sunrise and the captain passed me or stepped over me more likely, and then I uh, had Another couple who were at the hostel last night pass by me. The Finnish girl, I don't know where he's from. Anyway. It's, uh, what time? 3.24. And I got about 8.4 miles left to go. I think it's dark around maybe 6.30, two hours. There is a high likelihood I'm walking out of here in the dark. I've kind of known that for some time now. <clears throat> so I'm at 2,090.6. Walking along this knife edge ridge. Pretty cool place. Let's see. I guess they have three hours of light.
this is why the going is slow. I'm at 20, 90.5. Pretty cool ridge. Slate ridge, I think it's called. Where'd the trail go? Yes, it's just on this ridge. Huh. I think they put a blaze here somewhere. Okay, it looks like I used my hands here. That lake down there, I think I'm going to be going by. Hope you can see the trail on the far side of the lake. <clears throat> oh, well. I had hoped for a better view of the lake. <clears throat> I think this one's called Little Wilson Creek. Oh, it's that was a nifty one. All stupid things. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't need that. <coughs> A night hike coming up. Jesus. At twenty eighty seven. There's this road. I don't see where it goes to on the map. Okay. It's just a constant jungle gym of climbing up things like this. You just can't go very fast. <clears throat> this is a 2086.8. Trying to get to the road, so I gotta keep going. I think this is 2087.5. Yeah, I'll be 15, three miles. <clears throat> Just beyond the shelter is about a 15 foot rock climb down in that canyon and back up the other side. Oh my god. Well, I'm at 2084.8 and I stopped at 7 50, or 6.55 p.m. Well, here I am on my night hike. At 2084.3. Huh? 
I have 1.6 to the car. I wish it was all like this. <clears throat> oh boy. See any bears? Is there a bear there? I don't see a bear. Wow, that's some bog board there. I bet that was put there by Myron Avery. Well, there is the end of Spectacle Pond. And here's the outflow of it. And I have one-tenth of a mile to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's about 8.25. Oh, I love this sign. <laughs> I was looking for it earlier. That's kind of cool. There are no place to plane, obtain supplies or get help until a bulb bridge 100 miles to the north. Do not attempt this section unless you have a minimum of 10 days supplies and are fully equipped. This is the longest wilderness section of the entire AT and its difficulty should not be underestimated. Good hiking, Mazzy. Boy, they're not kidding. You don't want to underestimate this. Okay. It's 8, almost 8.30. 8.29. Day 142 comes to a merciful end. <laughs>